it will, everything will affect the bracket position. We can modify the bracket positions to suit the case. Here, uh, GAC, or GC, sorry. All 18 or 0, 0.22, self-ligating or non-self-ligating. You see the, the brackets are quite broad, eh? so they give good rotational control. But back to this inter-bracket distance here, your wires are going to be stiffer. Closing the space, the central diastema here. Or some clients will say, I want tubes on both molars. In one of the courses in Korea, they're teaching to make lingual slightly simpler, easier insertion of the wire, they say, for some people. They don't put a tube on both sides. Did you know about that? No. Him Yoo Kyung is putting a tube on one side and double brackets on the other side so that you put the wire in the tube, go around the arch and leg, ligate it. It's a choice, it's the way you want to work. But if you communicate it to the lab, they know what to do. I want two tubes, I want one tube on one side, I want to finish it the sixes with a tube, not a bracket. I don't want to close the space, I want to maintain the space. So we're not really gonna change the angle of the slot uh, for the tip. We're not putting any compensations on there. We're going to bond it, same as the two. Here is what I talked about outside. Mrs. Wan on her table. See that? That's a labial bracket. 018 slot labial bracket bonded on the lingual. We can do. Some brackets, you can bond labial brackets on a lingual, but don't try and bond a labial bracket on a lingual incisor. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll have what Enrique showed you. I was just leaving the room when I saw the slide the other day. <laughs> it's a big composite wedge like that. Because when I first had, um, there was a doctor came to my lab to, to, to learn about the instruments. And he said, yeah, no, I'm going to make a lingual cheap for all my patients. I'm going to use labial brackets. I said, labial brackets? Yeah, no, no, you can do it. You can bond labial brackets to the lingual. So I showed him with the instrument, let's bond a labial bracket at 14 degrees, 70 degrees, whatever. <laughs> Big wedge of resin, you know. So sometimes we have ideas and, and they're not too good. Same bracket, bonded. The composite was minimal. It fit very close to the tooth but he wanted good rotational control, and it was the only 018 slot I could offer at the time <laughs> in the lab. And I said, you know, I have a twin bracket if you want to try it. Oh, yes, show me the photos. Communicate by email, he sends emails back. And yeah, bond it, I want to try it. Oh. See how it fits? It's, and it's programmed, the slot is programmed with the instruments, just as you saw in the video before this PowerPoint. So we know the slot is programmed correctly to what we want for that too. You can also use lower central incisor labial brackets if you're worried about the interbracket distance. You know the ones outside on the same packet and uh, they're like zero degrees, so you can use those, or even minus six. In the resin's not going to be too much, it's not going to look wrong any more than it is with a lingual bracket.